Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host and today we're going to be talking about dick and donuts. All right, first of all, thank you for everyone who subscribed. I don't know, you know, how you found the platform, but most people found me through either Facebook or Instagram. We all know that both of those platforms have went through some serious changes over the years. So the way that I would like to teach, sometimes I'm unable to teach. So what I ask is that everyone subscribe to my email um, at www.thepppgstore.com. Subscribe to my email list um, and subscribe to my YouTube because YouTube gives me a little more freedom than some of the other platforms. This video is for educational purposes only. I know a lot of y'all like, okay, Sharonda, when we first started following the sex toy queen, she was, you know, just raw, raunchy, uncut, this, this, that, the other. But it's honestly the platforms that have made me kind of clean it up a little bit. Also, to my ladies who are in my wife's school and my wives in training, this video is for you too because one thing that you learned in wife school is you have to keep the fun in your marriage. A lot of times people look at marriage as something, um, some people look at it in an honorable way, but some people look at it as a way of bondage. And I don't look at marriage as bondage. I just think that you have to marry the person who is going to allow you to be yourself in the marriage. I have been married for 22 years and my husband accepts me for me. He knows that I'm a God-fearing, loving wife mother, but I'm also nasty, nasty, nasty. I'm a freak. I love, I love sex. I love intimacy. I love this industry that I'm in. So he, you know, he's okay with me being myself. So I think you have to find someone who is okay with you being you. Okay. All right. So I was supposed to do this video on yesterday, but let me tell y'all anything that could have went wrong, went wrong. Starting with Krispy Kreme did not have any donuts. Can you can you believe that? I pulled up to Krispy Kreme and they was like, oh, we fresh out of glaze until tomorrow at 6 a.m. So this morning at 6 a.m. I was at Krispy Kreme because I wanted to make sure that one, I gave my husband the treat that he had been waiting for because we even went to the gas stations looking for donuts because he was adamant about getting this dick and donut done on him. Not necessarily worried about y'all for the video. He was... He wanted that donut on his dick, okay? I'm just letting you know. So, I got Mr. Parker taken care of. He is at home resting, okay? <laughs> got him taken care of this morning. So, in my email, I told you that you would need, um, first of all, you got to have an erect, you need an erect dick, okay? You cannot do this with somebody who has a limp dick. Not a halfway erect dick, not a little bit of circulation here. They have to have a strong, firm erection. For starters, number one, okay? All right. I brought my kangaroo up here because I, I brought this because this is my husband's um, enhancer of choice. He likes the liquid kangaroo. So I'm, I'm doing everything that we actually use. So yesterday he had taken the liquid kangaroo. This stays in your system three days, just so you know. So liquid kangaroo, bam, got it. And me, I never do anything without lube. Lube is my friend. My lube of choice is Wet Elite. I love Wet Elite. It's a hybrid. It is a water base with a touch of silicone. So I love it because you don't have to keep reapplying it over and over and over again. Okay, so I got my Wet Elite. Y'all say, why you got three different size dicks up here? I got three different sizes. Okay, this is, um, this is the one that I used to teach with. Okay, this is the one that I use for my shows for dramatics, of course, because normally when I'm doing shows, it's like 50 to 100 women. And when they sit into the back room, I want to make sure that they can see dick. So I bought Hammer. Y'all know it's been a long time since I done pulled Hammer out. All right, so I got Hammer. I have um, this one here is my go to. This one, um, I think out of all of them, they. This one kind of represents more of the average man than most of them. This is the one that I use for my 
fantastic fellatio class. So, you know, I, I brought him. Now, this is one of my smaller ones for my ladies who like, oh, it's too big. I bought this one too, just because, you know, I, I want to make sure I got something for everybody. But I bought this one because I want to show you that the donuts can go on this one too. Because I had somebody that told me, and I, I wish I knew who his old lady was so I could inbox her and tell her, girl, you're doing good. But she she told him, oh, baby, the donuts ain't going to fit. And he was, he, look, he was, he had, uh, he was so proud. Y'all, he was so proud because his dick is so big that the donut is not going to be able to fit on his dick. That's what his old lady told him. And I just want to say, girl, you're doing good. Stroke that ego. Boost that head up. Make him feel good because that's what you're supposed to do. That is your job. But for this video, I'm going to show you that the, the donut can fit around any dick, okay? All right, so let me say this. This is not a Sharonda Parker original idea, okay? This came out... Um, a publication came out in Cosmo Cosmopolitan in 2003. So this little trick is almost 20 years old, okay? But I believe that, you know, Cosmopolitan is a written publication. Back then, that's how people got their advice. They, you know, subscribed, um, got it mailed to them, and that's how they got their little tricks. Well, today we have digital platforms. Back then, in 2003, I was not even in this industry. So, I didn't have a Sharonda Parker touch on it. So, here it is, 2021. We got the Sharonda Parker touch on Dick and Donuts, okay? All right. All right. So, of course, I got my donuts. Step one, we're going to loop it up real good. And as you can see, this lubricant is a little, it's on the thick side. And that's what I love about it, Okay. Now, if you did my fantastic fellatio class, then one thing you know is I do a, a hand job um, class in fantastic fellatio. So we want to make sure that we making him feel good and we want to just like, you know, get that lip dick massage going good and use those fingers and make sure you're talking to him and all of this kind of stuff because we help him with the erection. That's what we're doing. Yeah, all of that. Everything that feels good helps with the erection. Then we want to take one of our donuts. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And we want to take it, and it has a hole, but I like to tear the center just a little bit. And we want to slide it down on there. And you're going to see all of this sugar flakes and everything on here. Before I go further, because the first thing y'all want to scream every time I do a video bringing food and different stuff in, y'all love to scream, yeast, yeast, BV, infection, sugar, itching, burning, doctor. This is, a, this is strictly for oral sex, okay? This is an oral sex trick. Oral sex, vaginal sex, they are two different types of sex. This trick is for oral sex, okay? So if you decide to move on with penetration like we decided to do this morning, that means I had to clean all of this up. And I cleaned it up with my mouth first and got as much up as I could with my mouth. And then I got a warm towel and cleaned him up. And then we proceeded to do what we do. So for those of y'all that love to scream, yeast, this is for oral sex, okay? If you decide to do anything with penetration, make sure you clean all of this up, okay? All right. You're not going to say that I didn't tell you. Clean it all up. Get a warm, wet towel. Clean it up. A warm, wet rag, whatever. Clean it up, okay? So, but clean it up with your mouth first. All right. So, as you can see, we got one on there. Now, when I did my husband's this morning, we really could have did four donuts. But I told him, okay, I'm going to do three donuts just so that I can have a lot more of the head exposed because I wanted to be able to work that head the way I wanted to be able to work that head. And then when I took a little nibble off of the donut and I was kind of squeezing it so the donut was kind of molded to him and I took a little nibble off of it, I had a piece of the donut in my mouth, but I'm sucking the dick at the same time, but he feeling the texture from the donut. And I chewed the donut up a little bit and I make sure you chew it. Don't have a dick in your mouth while you're chewing Chew it a little bit, and I kind of made it like really feel like food, like almost puree just a little bit with a little bit of texture, and I still was working that dick, right? 
that texture with something in my mouth, that food in my mouth, just really, he was just like, oh shit, shit, like this shit feel good, okay? So I just want to let you know, because I don't want you thinking they just up there for decoration. No, we're going to use all of this. You know, we're going to use all of it. And then as your mouth starts to drip and all of the sugar and, you know, it, it get real sloppy. Now you can take and you can start smushing the donut up on this dick and squeezing the donuts all on the base of the dick and just having fun with it. Yes, he's going to be sticky. Yes, he's going to have little sugar uh, specks all over him and all of this kind of stuff. Stop in between and take and just lick. Just lick all over. Lick all about a mound of the... um of his dick. Yeah, lick all of that. If it get all on his stomach, because some men dick's big, and then you can lay them back and they'll fall on their stomach. Lick all the sugar off the stomach. Even if a little bit fall on the thighs, eat that shit up too. Have fun with it. The most important thing that I want you to do is not overthink this, and I want you to have fun with it, okay? So this is one on just, you know, this one is a little more girthy, okay? I just let me tell you something, cause you know when the man sent me to talking about oh, like the donut can't fit. Let me tell you something. I've seen a lot of dicks in my career. Okay, in this industry, I've seen a lot of dicks, whether it be porn in person, where people didn't inbox them to me, whether they was trying to be nasty or whether they really needed help because uh, it didn't look right, cause it looked like it hadn't got a little infection or STD or something. I've seen a lot of dicks in my life. Right, I'm being honest with you. Never have I ever one time seen one as big as Hammer. I've never seen somebody send me a 13 inch and the girth of it is three three uh inches around. I've never had nobody send me that. I can't even wrap my hand around this. So when people get to talking about some, oh, it's, it's too big. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. but this one going to get a donut too. All right. So, again, Lou, because it's our friend. And the only way to see this video is on YouTube. I done told everybody on Facebook, if you ain't subscribed, you just going to miss out. You going to miss out. You going to miss out. And again, hold on. I told y'all I like to tear just a little bit. Because, you know, it's a donut. Yeah. He talk about and he <laughs> my dick too big. Boy bullshit. <laughs> he went one too. Okay, so that just lets you know that it don't matter what size the dick in. We just killed that. That whole little myth or whatever. This this was a science project right here in front of you. Well we tested. We had a theory, we tested it. Guess what? It fits. It does not matter what size the dick, in, uh, dick is, it fits, okay? All right. So, I just wanted to show you. That's why I pulled all these out because I wanted to show, uh, you know, that, yeah, all, all of my dicks going to have donuts, all of them. Even a little bit of one, we probably ain't going to have to do too much stretching with this one here. We just going to be able to you know, we, oh, lubricant. You're going to understand why lubricant's your friend. You're going to understand. Lube. We ain't have to do too much to that when you just slide on. See this one here, the circumference of it is real small. So as you can see, there we go. All right, y'all. You all have a wonderful Wednesday. Y'all had an awesome date night last night, by the way. And I had an awesome morning. And when you go and get your donuts, right? When you go get your donuts, tag only one PPG and hashtag Dick, D-I-C-K and A-N-D donuts with an S. It's Dick singular, right? And donuts, plural, meaning multiple, okay? That's a little English class. I know I was a teacher too. Yes, I was a school teacher. So anyway, <laughs> Dick and donuts. Enjoy your day.